What is up my veggies? My name is VeggieTales Ryan and welcome back to another fan film review. I want to get to doing these more often because there are a lot of fan films on YouTube. I actually watched quite a few just now. So today we're going to be reviewing Sonic, which is a Sonic the Hedgehog fan film just called Sonic. And um, by Blue Core Studios. Which they have done, like, I think about two more, um, fan films, which this one is a really good one. I love their take on Sonic. They, I say this is a good video game story because I love the use of CGI in this. Because the way they use Sonic in this is really, really good and it gets a good story across. Like, get a feel for the world. And I love, like, the the new look on Dr. Robotnik, which is a really good look on him because he ha they have him act a little... He kind of gives him elements from the, uh... I believe from the show Sonic X. And the show, um... Sonic Underground, which one is, um, Dr. Robotnik and the other is Dr. Eggman. But I kind of feel like they're fused together with this, with their... But there, his, he has a more sinister side in this, in my opinion. He has a darker plan. We get to see the Chaos Emeralds, which is something I haven't thought about in years. Because I haven't been big on Sonic like I used to be when I was little. Or I was never really big on Sonic, actually. Um, but this fan film did really good. Only thing that I didn't like about it <laughs> is that it leaves on a cliffhanger. Which is really annoying. But... It was still good, though. It was visually, it was visually pleasing, uh, to be honest. Because, like, there's this final scene at the end of the movie, of the fan film, where, like, Sonic is running through, like, a, um, obstacle course type thing. No, like, it's like the Green Hill Zone first level. So that's really cool. I kind of really enjoyed that. And they actually said, like, Sonic, the, 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 the hedgehog has been spotted in the Green, Green Hill Zone. And it, was, it wasn't even the Green Hill Zone, like, the level area that I'm talking about. It was kind of just, gr like, a woods area. And I thought that was awesome because, like, they actually called it that. And the fact that this seemed like it, it, it had a compelling narrative, it seemed really interesting. And the character, there wasn't a lot of characters. Sonic, pretty much everyone was barely in it. Everyone had, like, their own screen time. That had limited screen time since this was only about 18, 20 minutes, somewhere around there. But the use of CGI was done magnificent, magnificently. This probably took me a while to make because the CGI looked really good. I liked the way Sonic looked. I know he didn't look like traditional Sonic, but he kind of reminded me of the way he looks and how um, the Sonic Unleashed, like where the Werehog, the Werehog or Werehedgehog, whatever it's called, looks kind of reminded me of the way the animation looked in that game. Or I did get a vibe of that a little bit, but not a lot. And I did love the and the voice acting done for Sonic was really good, and the casting for Eggman was really good too. And the sound effects were done rather well in this film. And if you guys actually want to go check out this fan film, I'll put the link in the description below. So guys, that's pretty much all I've got to say for this review. I give this a a three and three point five. So yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please tap the like button down below. Subscribe, leave me a comment, and link to my Twitter, Instagram, DeviantArt, Tumblr, and Daily Motion will all be linked down in the description below, just like always. And do not forget to hit the notification button so you'll be notified when I upload videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.